Uh, it is my pleasure to introduce Professor Yaping Lu, uh, Professor and Dean of Department of Tea Science at the Tea Science Institute at Zhejiang University, hopefully it's pronounced correctly, maybe not, in Hangzhou, China. Uh, he got his bachelor's degree in 1982 from the Department of Tea Science at uh, Zhejiang Uni Agricultural University, and now uh, Zhejiang University. Uh, since 1982 to the present, he's been uh, Dean of the Department of Tea Science. Um, and from 2003 to 2011, Science and Technology Correspondent of uh, Zhejiang Province. Uh, some uh, at professional activities, he has been Associate Director of the Department of Sea Science, uh, as well as Dean uh, since 1995 to 1999, former Vice Secretary General, Executive Director, uh, and current Director of uh, the Zhejiang Tea Science Society. Uh, some activities uh, in his re teaching research include uh, research on tea cultivation, uh, primarily since 1982 when he got his degree. And uh, in recent years, uh, his interests are introduction of uh, tea varieties, tea and water conservation, uh, mechanical harvesting uh, technologies, and uh, production of tea. Uh, he's conducted some projects funded by the Science Technology Department of uh, the Department of Beijing Province and Department of Education, including projects such as uh, grafting of grafting techniques for tea and its application and, and popularization, and a study on classification technology for high quality tea leaves, uh, machine harvested. Um, also has uh, written books, uh, Tea Cultivation and Production and Processing Technology for High Quality Tea, has a, a patent on a, um, a, a tea grater uh, device, um, and a variety of awards, including Outstanding Science Technology Correspondent of China, Outstanding Science and Technology Correspondent of Zhejiang Province a number of times, uh, and I won't keep going because there's many, many other awards. Um, he's going to give his talk uh, in Chinese, and uh, Lily Sun, uh, a visiting scholar here in uh, Davis, will uh, do the uh, translation for him. So without further ado, I'm going to let you start. And uh, thank you very much. Uh,大家好,我叫罗亚平,是浙江大学茶学系的一名教师,主要从事的工作呢是茶树栽培学的教学与科研工作。那么很荣幸这次有机会到戴维斯来学习和跟大家交流茶的。相关知识。那么遗憾的是呢，我英语水平不高，所以请我们浙江大学在戴维斯学习的研究生孙丽丽同学呢帮我做翻译。Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Yao Ping Luo. I feel great honored to be here, and I teach and research in tea cultivars in Zhejiang University Tea Science Department, China. Uh, as my English is poor, so I asked my student Lily Sun to translate for me. So, I would love to give you an overview of tea and tea cultivars. Uh,茶与茶树品种呢,应该包含了两个瑞种,一个是茶,一个是茶树品种。那么他们之间呢,具有很密切的联系,认识他们之间的相互联系和关系,对我们开发利用,呃,茶跟茶树品种呢,是十
。再一个是不同茶类的加工要求。I divided my presentation into two parts. First, Chinese tea. I will introduce tea types and tea quality characteristics, and also the processing techniques. 呃，同样，中国的茶树品种呢，我们将从也从三个方面来进行交流。Also, I'd love to talk about the tea cultivars in China from three aspects. Uh, like difference between tea cultivars and the difference to other tea plants, and especially in Chinese tea cultivars and the growth pattern. Uh, Chinese tea cultivars are divided into two types: tea cultivars and tea cultivars. Tea can be separated into uh, the basic types of tea and the reprocessing tea according to the uh, principles of uh, manufacturing method and their quality characteristics. Well,基本茶类,也就是说六大茶类,我们通常说的,绿茶,红茶,乌龙茶,白茶,黄茶,黑茶,由于加工工艺的不同,中间茶叶体类的物质成分的变化不同, there are six type, basic types of tea, green tea, black tea, oolong tea, white tea, yellow tea, and dark tea, uh, according to the, like the difference of manufacturing method and oxidation degree, so they are different in their taste. These are They are all made of fresh leaves. 那么再加工茶类呢，是利用上述成型的茶，再添加不同的其他物质，比如说花、果、呃、保健饮品，添加在茶里边，再加工成其他类型的茶，称之为再加工茶。Then what is the reprocessing tea? Reprocessing tea is further processed like uh, on the basis of the basic tea, like adding flowers and uh, uh, spice flavors or comprised tea into the cake or brisk. This is the tea, two kinds of tea. According to the processing process, one is the way to be heated, and the other is the way to be heated. We can see one is a soft and one is a soft. Here are two types of green tea, stir fried uh, green tea and basket roasted green tea. Uh, because the, like, the heating method is different, so the stirred fried green tea is loose, while basket roasted tea is curly. This is green tea. One is made of a Two famous green tea, West Lake Longjing and Bi Luo Chun. 这是两种红茶，因为品种不同，产地不同。一个是由云南大叶种做的，那么体型就比较大，称之为靛红；一个是安徽小叶种做的，它叶张比较小，所以橘红跟靛红就有形态上有很大的差别。Here are two representatives of Chinese black tea, Kimen black tea and Yunnan black tea. Uh, Kimen black tea is made of the large leaf cultivars, while Yunnan black tea is made of, uh, no, Yunnan black tea is made of large leaf cultivars, while Kimen black tea is made of like small cultivar, uh, small cultivar, small leaf cultivars. So that is why the Kimen black tea is more tighter and smaller, while the Yunnan black tea is larger and thicker. These two are both the Wulong tea. Also, because of the processing method, one is like a shape, one is like a curly shape, one is like a light shape, one is like a dark shape, one is like a light shape. These are two kinds of oolong tea because their processing method is different, the color is different, and also the shapes is different. 这个左边这个是白茶里边的白毫银针，右边呢是黄茶当中的孟顶黄芽。我们可以清楚的看到两种颜色是很有很大的不同。Here are two pictures. Uh, uh, left is a bai hao, is a white tea called bai hao yin zhen, and on the right is a meng ding huang yai, is a yellow tea. So we can clearly uh, know that the color is different. 这几个就是在上说。
呃，基本茶类当中添加不同的原料，或者在不同的加工而成型的茶叶，一个是桂花放到龙井茶当中，还有其他花放到茶叶当中，或者将黑茶、黑毛茶加工成各种形状的砖茶、饼茶等等。Here are pictures of reprocessing tea. Uh, there are uh, br there are tea cake and tea break and also Manthers tea and jasmine green tea. 呃，构成茶叶的品质是其体内的化学成分，而这些化学成分中有些有味道，有些没滋味。因此，在加工成不同茶类以后，它们会产生不同的品质特征。So their quality-related chemical compositions and their flavor substance is very important to their quality characteristics. And I will tell about their quality-related chemical composition of tea, flavor substance of tea, and the different quality characteristics. This is a simple description of the composition of tea. So from this description, we can see that the composition of tea 茶叶体内呢含有许多丰富的对人体有利的物质，它的干物质占百分之二十五，水分占了百分之七十五左右。因此，我们通常说四斤鲜叶可以加工成一斤干茶。So there is a variety of chemical compositions of tea, and as I, as you know, that tea that the water constitutes seventy five percent of fresh leaves. That means, uh, four pounds of tea can only be made into one pound of tea. 那么在众多的物质成分当中，我们平时主要关注的呢是氨基酸、生物碱、茶多酚和一些香气成分。Among other chemical compositions of tea, there are amino acid, alkaloid, polyphenols, and aroma compounds of vital importance to the tea quality. 在所有的成物呃物质当中，这些成分人们对它比较熟知。你比如说，茶多酚有苦味，氨基酸鲜爽味，生物碱苦味，碳水化合物甜味，有机酸酸味。So the polyphenols makes tea astringent and strong, while amino acid make it fresh and brisk. And alkaloid is bitter, carbohydrate is sweet, organic acid is sour, while inorganic salt is salty. 不同的成分成分组织组合在一起，产生了各种各样的口味。因此，你加工成不同的茶类。或者不同品种加工成型的茶类，这种品质成分都会有很大的变化。所以在茶叶鉴定过程中，不可能以某一种成分的高低来说这个茶叶好或者那个茶叶不好，而主要呢还是通过人工的评审方法来鉴别的。So the balance and combination of the chemical compounds uh, create the taste of all kinds of tea. So uh, the taste are not depend on the, the certain amount of, the, of a particular compound. Uh, the only way like, uh, for the quality and, uh, how the, and the commercial value is determined accurately by the actual infusion or Trial by a skilled tea taster. 呃，这是一个传统的评审方法，品茶杯、品茶碗、品茶台、审评茶样盘等等，主要是通过色、香、味、形来得出品质的优劣。This picture shows how we evaluate tea. We evaluate tea in five aspects: tea appearance, tea liquid color, tea aroma, tea taste, and lived tea lives. 绿茶它的加工方式是从鲜叶进场以后，马上用高温阻止体内的酶活性，使物质不再发生更多的变化。杀青以后。在通过揉捻成型，最后干燥获得的。The green tea is unoxidized tea. A fresh leaves are heating to are heated to inactivate enzymes and then rolling to form shapes before drying. 因此，绿茶的品质特征，简单的说是清汤绿叶，香高味纯。它的绿叶是通过叶绿素反映出来的。
。清汤是因为叶绿素是脂溶性的，泡成茶汤以后呢，它不被溶出，溶出的呢是黄酮类物质，因此有点淡黄色。而味醇呢，主要是决定于氨基酸与茶多酚之间的比值。So, prim green tea leaves drifting in yellowish green tea infusion with mellow taste and high aroma, and uh, the color of the green tea leaves is due to their presence of chlorophyll, and uh, the infusion color is due to the dissolution of flavonoid glycoside, while their mellow taste depends on the ratio of amino acid to tea polyphenols. 红茶的加工方式跟绿茶呢有很大的不同。鲜叶进场以后，它要通过萎凋、揉捻，破坏叶组织，使原来分在不同位置的酶跟被氧化的物质能够结合在一起，发生氧化，最后在一定程度以后，把它阻止它的氧化，干燥。So the manufacturing, the manufacturing method for black tea is quite different. The leaves will wither for, time, for a while, and then uh, rolling by hand or using a rolling machine to crush, to crush the leaves entirely, and to light the leaves oxidize for a time, for a certain time uh, before drying. So the taste of the is green tea, green tea. 香膏浓强鲜爽，它的香膏是物质在发酵过程中一些物质的转化，产生出了一些甜香型的花香果香味。红汤红叶呢，是主要由于发酵过程中茶黄素、茶红素、茶萼素的氧化程度不同产生的，而浓强呢，则是耳茶素的氧化产物，鲜爽呢，则是通过氨基酸的含量来表现出来。So. The quality characteristics of black tea is that red tea leaves and bright red tea infusion with a strong astringent taste and a sweet high aroma. And the sweet and high aroma are created during the process, during the manufacturing process. And the red color of tea leaves and the infusion is due to the constitutions of cyflamins, cerebinins, and cerebronins. While their strong taste depends on the content of their ketones and their oxidized product products, while the freshness is due to the content of amino acid. 在六种茶类当中，绿茶、黑茶、黄茶，我们可以看到进场的鲜叶首先经过杀青，阻止酶的氧化，之后呢，通过各种不同的工序，最后干燥。因此。呃，这可以看作是非酶氧化的一类茶叶。In fact, all the six types of tea can be separated into two groups. Groups. The first is、uh, green tea, dark tea, and yellow tea because the their first step is、uh, deactivate their enzyme. 那么另一组呢？它是首先通过萎凋，在这一个过程中。呃，加以不同的工艺过程，使物质呢发生一些酶促的氧化，最后再干燥，形成了乌龙茶、红茶和白茶。Well, the other groups include oolong tea, black tea, and white tea. Well, well the first step is weathering. 呃，从前面的一些内容我们知道，一个品种由于加工方式不同，可以加工成不同茶。不同类的茶，那么品种之间的物质成分是不一样的，它们不同的加工方式产生的效果也是不一样的。接下来，我们对中国的茶树品种呢，我将从茶树品种间的差异、茶叶的区别和中国茶树品种与生育规律来进行叙述。From the former slide, we can know that all kinds of type tea can be made from one cultivar. However, the cultivar's difference、uh, are different. So I will introduce the difference between tea cultivars as well as the difference to other plant leaf and the growth condition and the law of tea cultivars. This is the difference between tea cultivars and the law of tea cultivars. This is the difference between tea cultivars. 我们可以看到最左边的这个长宽比大于三、狭长型的叶形，到最右边的近圆形的叶片的变化。
So this picture shows the difference in the configuration of fresh tea leaves for different tea cultivars. And we can say that uh, the leaves are from like a lacellate, the shape is lacellate, and the two almost on the right is like a circle. 这几个就是在我们学校茶园里边的几个茶树品种, 正和大白茶叶尖比较尖, 叶无鸡也比较尖, 附顶大白茶相对圆, 扶手呢鸡步较圆, 藤茶呢长宽比大于三, 毛线呢叶缘锯齿比较明显, 乌牛枣呢侧麦跟主麦的夹角比较大, here, the pictures shows the six types of cultivars, and the Zhenghe Da Bai Cha, you can see the shape is a lancelite, while the Fu Ding Da Pai Cha is similar, and the, we can see the facial cultivar, the tip is very sharp, while the bottom is blunt, and the, the, you know, the Teng Cha is like the, long, the ratio of the long, lungs to the waist uh, is, is greater than three, and for Mao Xie, you can see a very sharp, sh very sharp tooth, sharp teeth there. And you can see the Wu Niu Zao cultivar and the angles between the lateral, lateral uh, veins and the secondary wheels, the angle is quite large. 有些品种很相似, 三月十六号的时候 so the second difference is the sprouting time. From the these three pictures are taken at the same day, and you can clearly say that for Wu Niu Zao sprouts the latest, there already has one bud and three leaves upon their time, while follows the Fu Ding Da Bai Cha, and the Zhenghe Da Bai Cha sprouts the latest. 这时候的正和大白茶已经有一牙二叶展，也就是它跟乌牛藻比，延迟了一个月生长状态呢，还不没有超过乌牛藻，所以品种之间的生长期可以相差一个多月。So the 正和大白茶 didn't sprout until one month later. 品种之间的生化成分是有很大的差别。这里有四个品种，分别是北叶一号、正东幺幺三、铁观音、殷红一号。前面两个品种是适宜做绿茶的品种，铁观音做乌龙茶，殷红九号呢做红茶。我们可以看到品种之间主要成分茶多酚、
呃，这是白茶的呃状态，它在温度低于二十五度以下，气呃呃光照不强的时候，它颜色是白的；超过二十五度以后，它颜色转绿。它的氨基酸也就是比较高的一个品种。Here's a picture of Bai Cha number one. High, and it has a high content of amino acid, acid and the white leaves turn to green as the temperature increases up to 25 degrees Celsius in spring. 下一个黄茶，氨基酸含量比白茶更高，甚至达到了百分之九左右。The other picture shows the yellow, so so shows the Huang Cha, and it's a higher, uh, it has a higher uh, higher content of amino acid. 不同鲜叶的嫩度，它的茶叶生化成分也有很大差异。我们从这张表上可以看到，第一页，也就是芽下面的第一页，芽下面的第二页，第三页，第四页，嫩度变化呢，从第一页到第四页呢。逐渐降低，而生化成分成分呢，这表明水清出货、茶多酚、耳茶素、咖啡因、氨基酸这些密切相关的成分呢，随着嫩度的降低，物质的含量减少。This table shows the chemical composition of different tenderness tea leaves, and other table shows that uh, the water soluble substance and the tea polyphenols, ketones, caffeine, and amino acid uh, are decreased significantly as the tea tea leaf gets older. So, some polyphenols, ah, uh, sugar, 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 物质量增加，所以说人们为什么喜欢采摘嫩一些，品质会好一些。However, the reducing sugar and the, the crude fiber, the, con, the, the content of these two compounds、uh, increase when, when the tea leaves get older. 茶树的形态跟其他的叶片呢有很大的差别。呃，碰到几个公司，他们为了宣传茶叶呢，把茶树叶片啊的特征美化出来。我想主要掌握这几个地方，就可以把茶树叶片表现的比较，呃，特征性表现的强一些。一个呢是叶缘有锯齿，再一个呢叶脉、侧脉呢，后一个侧脉跟前一个侧脉呢是相连的，不是伸到叶缘的。叶尖略有尖凹，再一个叶柄比较短。Uh, so the leaf configuration is quite different to other plants. You know, some companies they want to like uh, draw a painting of their tea leaves, but maybe they could make mistakes. So the tea, uh, what's the, what's their features for the tea leaf configuration? The leaf margins are like delicately serrated. Each tea is curving inward slightly and uh, blackening at their tip. Uh, while the leaf were, were, while the leaf vernation is regular and the leaf teeth are concave, while the petal is very short. Chinese tea plants, up to the present, have been recognized by the state level of 134. The state level of recognition is 230. The total amount of recognition is 3,100. The total amount of recognition is 3,100. 这个选育过程呢是十分长期和复杂的过程，从茶树的种子到品种呢，大约需要十八到二十年左右的时间，中间要经过六个程序。So there are 134 national cultivars and more than 230 provincial cultivars in China, and the germ plasma results of tea tree is around. Uh, 3100, and you know, to select uh, a cultivar is quite difficult and time-consuming. Uh, there are six types uh, too for uh, breeding procedures. 茶树是一花授粉植物，它的种子个体间差异很大，就像我们一个家里边兄弟姐妹之间的脾气性格都有会有很大的差别。有些喜欢睡懒觉，有些喜欢起得早。茶树有些萌芽早，有些萌芽迟，所以种子通过一花授粉以后，我们首先要进行单株种植，看选出某一个单株具有哪些优良的性状。这个过程需要比较长的时间。接着再把优良性状的单株呢进行无性繁殖，保持其本性，再把这些细呃再从中把无性繁殖的苗。
种在同一块地上来进行比较，这些评较评比较对象当中，哪些是具有优秀的呃这个单株？ Like you are different with your siblings, you know the T, uh, the T children maybe is really different from others. So we need to select the the T plants that we are we are desired. And also after we select some T plants that we want, and we will uh prop propagate by a, a sexual reproduction. And so that we can compare how how they grow. When these species, after comparing, some of the more popular, uh, confirmed are more popular species, then we will compare them to the already recognized national species. To compare them, the species you chose is more than the population size of the two species. If it is more than the population size of the two species, we will compare them in different regions. 范围内，从南到北，因为气候条件不一样，看看在哪个地方适应种植，哪些地方不适应种植，进行区域性的布置实验。So after the comparison, you will find the one you like, and you will also need to compare with the control cultivar cultivars to find if they are good than the cultivars. 呃，最后。大家认定了以后，才在一定的区域里推广，所以这个时间是相当漫长的。Then you make sure the uh the cultivars is good, and you will like grow them in different places to make sure they can grow well in other areas. And then finally, you can get a cultivar certification, and then you can like spread you can spread this cultivar. 现在我们的选种目标呢，主要有这几个，针对这几个性状，一个是品质，再一个是萌芽期的迟早，再一个抗逆能力，啊，抗寒、抗旱、抗病虫，还有一个适质性，你能做红茶还是绿茶还是乌龙茶，再是一个产量。So what are desired? Uh, the quality is important, and the sprouting time, the earlier the better, and the resistance, if they can resist uh, like a drought or cold, it would be good, and also it's suitable to make tea, and uh, the production yield is very important also. Uh, to create the tree, you first need to understand the tree in what kind of environment can be grown. By observing the tree, 茶树呢，可以忍受零下五到十四十度的低温，再低的温度呢就不太合适了。而对水分的要求呢，希望适宜的水分要求呢，是种植在年降雨量一千到一千五百毫米的这一个降雨量的呃地方，而且呢分配比较均匀。再一点就是土壤的 pH 是酸性土，要求四点五到五点零的是比较适宜的。So, what are the suitable growing condition for tea tree? And uh, study shows that the tea tree can endure minus 10 degree to minus 5 degree Celsius. And also, the annual rainfall uh, is better if, we, if it's in like around 1,000 to 1,500 millimeter. And it, it needs to be distributed evenly. And there also the pH value of, of soil is better around uh, like uh, 4.4 to 5.5. There are many other factors like light, soil, and nutrition which can affect the growth. Uh, 这两天到了这里以后呢，对呃 Davis 的呃呃加利福尼亚的这些情呃基本情况呢，稍微做了一个了解。看到这里种茶呢，可能降雨量是限制的因素，年降雨量呢只有三百到六百毫米左右。如果在这样一个情况下要种植，那就应该考虑解决降水的问题，比如说营造适宜茶树种植的环境，比如说在茶园里种植树啊遮阴树，减少水分的散失，在进茶园中设置喷灌，那么也可以满足茶树对水分的需求，或者在茶吧、茶馆里边，你也可以种成小盆摆在那里，当然人工的控制条件下也可以达到。
Uh, after I arrived in Davis, I find it's very dry here, and I search the in the internet. I find the annual rainforest only like from 300 to 600 milli millimeter. That may be too little for tea grow. So if we are going to grow tea in Davis, we would love. We need to like to create some environment for tea. Like we can plant uh, the tea trees under the large trees, and also we need some springs. And also we can grow like a little trees in a pot, in a pot, in a like a tea bar or something. 那么要种好茶树呢，还得对茶树的生物学进行了解，了解这些生物规律呢，利于我们生产管理。比如说在杭州。在浙江，茶树的年生育规律、新梢的生育规律，一年有三次快速的生长时期，分别在三月、六月跟八月，因此也就形成了春夏秋茶季三个季节。So to to make a to grasp to grasp a good understanding of the uh, tea growth law can help us make a good preparations to grow tea. Uh, take a uh, Hangzhou uh, for for an example. There are three rapid growing period in one year, like from the end of March to the beginning of May, and June to July, and from August to September. Therefore, there are three seasons for tea growth: spring season. Summer seasons and fall seasons. 那么根系的生长跟地上部分的生长呢是交替进行的。根系生长有四次，因此根据根系生长的规律，我们每次施肥的时间在根系快速生长之前进行。那么 ，Davis 的环境条件跟浙江的杭州四季分明的杭州呢有很大的差别。如果 Davis 这个地方要种茶叶，也必须对这些环境条件。和生育规律来进行了解，才能使茶树种得好。And the root and the the growth of root and shoot this the staggered, and so therefore I know when to fertilize and when to apply top dressings, and as I know as you know that the environment is is different. There is a big difference between Hangzhou and Davis. So if we want to grow tea in in Davis, we need to know. We need to have a good knowledge of the environment, and also to know how the tea grows here, so they can we can make good preparations when we grow it. 呃，茶树有许多规律，呃，有开花的规律。因为时间关系呢，我这里就呃这些先进行介绍，以后有机会我们再做交流。谢谢大家。There are there. Thanks.